What's up YouTube, Kainu back here again with another video. Today we're gonna to be checking out the OBS virtual camera. How to use it with Google Meets, Zoom, and Microsoft Teams. Okay, so you're gonna head over to the site called obsproject.com and you're actually gonna download OBS for whatever type of device you're on. It works for Windows, Mac, and Linux, all right? So once you have it downloaded, you're gonna open it up and it's gonna be completely blank. You're gonna have no scenes and no sources. I already have scenes because I've used it in the past, but what you're gonna do to create a scene is come down here to this plus icon and then click on that and you're gonna click on okay to create a scene. You can name it whatever you wanna name it. I just have scene four for this example, but whatever you wanna record, you're gonna put in sources, all right? So the three that I recommend using are display capture, video capture device and window capture. So display capture is gonna capture everything you do on your monitor, okay? So anything that happens on it. I don't really recommend display capture because if you're using it for work purposes, you may have like a bookmark or something that you don't want everybody to see. So I recommend window capture. So what window capture is, is exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna capture a specific window. Like let's say you wanna record PowerPoint. All right. So you're going to click on window capture and then you're going to select PowerPoint and then it's only going to capture PowerPoint. All right. So that's what a window capture is. It's one specific program. The only other one that I recommend to use maybe text, but it's video capture device. So this is any webcam or any other video capture device that you have attached to your computer. You're going to click on video capture device and then you're going to select that video capture device and it's going to show up in your scene. So for this example, I'm going to do display capture. All right. I already have scene two right here with my display capture already set up. As you can see, I can turn it off and turn it on. All right. So you see the screen right now. We're going to go ahead and click on start virtual camera. All right, so what that's gonna do, it's gonna send out a signal to all the different programs that we wanna use, all right? So we're gonna head over to Teams first. All right, as you can see, I have nothing set up right now. So this is just the beginning of a Teams call. You see your audio devices, you see your microphone, and you see your video device, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to video settings, and you're gonna drop it down and go to virtual camera right here, all right? And as you can see, it's recording my camera now, and then you just click on join now. Give it a second. It's creating, it's creating the meeting. And then you can invite anybody you want to invite. And then if you actually want to do this in the meeting, let me show you how to do that real quick. All right. So what you're going to do, you're going to click on more. All right. And then device settings right here. And then this is going to give you the same screen that we had before with the camera settings. And then this is what we had selected before. And then now you just click on OBS virtual camera. All right. And that's going to give you your OBS virtual camera that's sending the signal from OBS. So that's Teams. Let me go ahead and close that. And then we're going to leave that. Let's go ahead and go over to Zoom. So let me open up Zoom. All right. So Zoom is now opened up. As you can see, we have a camera on screen, but we can go ahead and disable that camera, enable it, whatever you want to do. But the way that you actually select the camera you want to use is by clicking on this little arrow right here and then going up and clicking on OBS virtual camera. And as you can see, again, we have our OBS virtual camera. We can show whatever we need to on our screen. And then if we go over to OBS, just to show you guys an example, you can click on stop virtual camera and then it's immediately going to stop it over on, uh, over on zoom. Okay. And then we can start it back up and then boom. It's instant, it's very snappy. You can see we have it back on Zoom, all right? So let's go ahead and close out of Zoom because let me, let me tell you something. So with Zoom and Teams, it's gonna prioritize the actual application on your computer. So if you're running multiple of these at the same time, you're gonna have to close your applications on your computer to actually use it on your browser for something like Google, for uh, what is it called? Google Meets, okay? So end meeting for all. And then we still have our virtual camera selected. So we're going to come over to meets. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and go to settings. So you're going to click on these three dots down here, go to settings. All right. And then click on video. And then it says camera is off. All right. So what you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and end this meeting. So end the call for everyone, return to home screen, 
and then we're gonna click on new meeting and then start an instant meeting for this example. All right, so our meeting starts up. Still no camera, interesting. Okay, so we're gonna click on more options, settings. We're gonna go to video and then we're gonna click on camera and then we're gonna click on OBS virtual camera. So sometimes you have to reset it to get it to work on your actual Google Meet. All right, so as you can see, it's very slow because it's the actual browser version, but that's the way you set up OBS virtual camera in Teams and Google Meet and in Zoom. If you have any other questions, drop them down in the comment section and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to take it easy.